Hey UFC fans, Game Zoom here and this is UFC 3 and today I wanted to show you how tutorials works. So I am trying this first time and you may be seeing it first time so let's just try and see what kind of tutorials are there. First is stand up tutorials, then there is grappling tutorials and there is some extras. So let's just start with stand up tutorials because this is the most important one. Okay, so first of all is basic striking tutorial and then there is intermediate striking, advanced striking tutorial and one is coming soon in the later updates. Okay, so first is basic striking tutorial. Okay, so here it is guys. Let's just, uh, uh, okay, let's just uh, click it. Let's just accept it and let's see. Okay, there is something black like, black screen like there, blank is there. Let's see what happens here. I don't know, maybe it's downloading a video from What's internet. Up? Yes, it was. Director Brian Hayes here with some tips to help you out when it comes to striking in EA Sports UFC 3. First things first, you're trying to do damage to your opponent. You can attack your opponent's head, body, or legs, each of which has its own health meter. The more damage you do to a region over a short period of time, the more likely you are to cause a health event, like a stun, knockdown, or knockout. But it's not as simple as just throwing as many strikes as you can. Your fighter also has a stamina meter, and every action you perform costs a little bit of stamina. Big fancy spinning strikes cost more stamina than quick basic strikes, and missing strikes cost more stamina than landing. Most importantly, your strikes do less damage when your stamina is low, and you take more damage when your stamina is low. If you throw a bunch of strikes and blow your stamina, one good shot from a savvy opponent might put you on the floor. Always moving forward and throwing a lot of strikes without a care for stamina or defense is also dangerous because it increases your vulnerability. Moving into the path of any strike will increase its effect. Getting caught by a strike in the middle of throwing your own can be particularly dangerous. And both of those things get worse if your stamina is low. So, mix up your strikes, watch your stamina, and be careful not to create too many opportunities for your opponent if you're pressing the action. Okay, so basic striking tutorial is over and there is some intermediate striking tutorial. Let's just start that and it says learn what it means to break your opponent block and using combinations effectively. Okay, so guys, so let's just start that and give it some time to load up. Maybe it's downloading uh, this video because have you, maybe you have noticed it was taking some lag in the previous video hey there ufc fans creative director brian hayes here with some more tips to help you out with the new striking gameplay in ea sports ufc 3. when somebody's trying to knock your block off or cave in your midsection your first instinct will be to block which is smart but be aware your block can be broken down when it absorbs too many strikes there's a block meter up in the fighter HUD that shows you your block strength. But if you're too busy trying to survive to glance up there, just remember, you can't just hold the block button and expect to survive a sustained assault unscathed. Use your footwork, head movement, switch your stance, or use your own offense to avoid taking damage and give your block strength some time to regenerate. If you're trying to break down your opponent's block, combinations are a good strategy. By striking in combination, you can attack different regions or attack the same region from different angles, both of which help you do damage and break through your opponent's defense quicker. Every fighter in the game can perform a variety of combinations. You can find them in the game help screen from the pause menu. If you're looking for a low risk environment to practice combinations, check out practice mode. Okay guys, so here is some intermediate striking tutorial. Now let's just shift to advanced striking tutorial. Here it says strike cancels, stopping power and frame advantage are the key to taking your striking to the next level. Okay, so let's just play this video guys and we will see it. And guys in the time in between it loads, I am going to tell you that I am making UFC 3 tutorials and I am making a career mode in which I am playing God career mode and we have already completed 20 parts. We're back here with some more advanced tips to help you out when it comes to striking in EA Sports UFC 3. Strike cancelling is a new feature in the game this year. 
This means if you hit the high block during the initiation phase of any strike, you will cancel that strike. You can use strike canceling to faint strikes and fake out your opponent, or to bail on a risky move if you see that you're out of range. Stopping power is another new wrinkle in EA Sports UFC 3. Basically, anytime you land a strike while your opponent is winding up and throwing one of their own, stopping power comes into play, either by interrupting the strike altogether or reducing the damage it does if it lands against you. Stopping power also affects your opponent's locomotion, so a stiff jab or a straight can be helpful in keeping a pressure fighter from advancing. The effect of frame advantage in the game is greater too. Frame advantage determines how fast you can block, move your head, lunge, basically perform any action after you miss or land a strike. This means that every strike has its own level of risk and reward. If you miss a quick jab, you'll be able to recover very quickly, but a jab only does a little damage. Whereas, if you miss with a big roundhouse kick, you might be unable to defend yourself against a well-timed attack from your opponent while you're recovering. That said, landing a big roundhouse to the head does big damage. Okay, says so here is advanced striking tutorial and let's just shift to grappling tutorials. Okay, how to survive on the ground? Okay, so let's just play that video and we will see. And guys, as I was telling you, I am making some career videos, good career mode videos. And guys, I just wanted to, uh, I just wanted you all to watch them. So go check them out. There were some amazing loses. There were some amazing wins. And I am like definitely sure you just wanted to see them all. Here with some information to help you out if the fight goes to the ground. First things first, don't freak out. You don't have to get up right away. Take your time. You just got here. If you've been taken down by a more experienced grappler, they're going to expect you to try and get right back up. And doing what your opponent expects is a recipe for disaster. Your grapple HUD will show you what transitions you can perform from your current position. Push and hold the right stick in the direction you want to go, and let the transition meter fill up. And boom, you're in the new position. If you don't see an option to get up, try pressing the L1 or left bumper button, which reveals alternate transitions that are available. Stamina is also important on the ground. If your stamina is low, take a breather and let it recover to give yourself a better chance of pulling off a transition attempt. Transition attempts can be denied by holding the right trigger or R2 button and matching the same direction as a transition with the right stick. In some positions, landing a strike on your opponent can stop the transition attempt too. Completing transitions, denying transitions, landing strikes, and blocking strikes can all build up your grapple advantage, which makes it easier for you to pull off your next transition. So, if you get taken down and always try to get right back up, you might be doing exactly what your opponent expects, giving them an easy denial that will build up their grapple advantage and make it e easier for them to advance position. Sometimes it helps if you're patient, throw some strikes, block some strikes, and let your opponent try to make the first move. Okay, so here is the how to survive on the ground and there is submission mini game tips and tricks so let's just start that video guys and I, as i was telling you there are some amazing What's ufc videos Brian Hayes here with okay some tips for escaping or finishing submissions if you're not comfortable with the idea of your opponent choking you unconscious or breaking your arm the submission game can be stressful but there's good news escaping a submission is really not that complicated i'm not saying it's always going to be easy but it's not complicated if your opponent locks on a submission, the only thing you need to worry about is the right stick. Push the right stick up, down, left, or right to move any one of the break walls all the way to the edge of the submission. Do that, and you're out. Your opponent can block you from moving the break wall by matching the same direction with the right stick. If you're pushing on a wall and it's not moving, push the right stick in another direction. Every submission has multiple stages. If your opponent it advances the submission to another stage, all your break walls move back towards the middle. The more you push each break wall out, the more of your escape progress will be retained if your opponent advances the submission. So it's a good idea to attack all four break walls early in the submission. If you're trying to finish a submission, you have to prevent your opponent from pushing any break wall all the way out. We already covered that. You also have to watch for the left stick prompts to advance the submission. The left stick prompts will be the same color as your fighter's hut, red or blue. One wrinkle to throw in the mix.
Some fighters have advanced submission with the potential to switch or chain into a deeper stage of a new submission. When a green left stick prompt shows up, that is a submission chain prompt. If the attacker hits it first, they'll switch to the new submission. If the defender hits it first, the chain opportunity is canceled and you stay in the same submission. Okay guys, so here is submission and now then extras. Let's just jump into it and there is career mode introduction. So let's just play it guys. Hello fight fan and welcome to career mode in EA Sports UFC 3. Every fighter has to have goals. Yours is to become the greatest of all time. You'll need to do more than just win fights and championships though. To become the GOAT, you'll need to break UFC performance and promotional records to make your mark inside and outside the octagon. Whether you're training to improve your attributes, performing drills to unlock new techniques, or promoting yourself to gain fans and build up fights against your biggest rivals, the decisions you make in career mode will determine your legacy in the UFC. Greatness awaits. Go take it. Here it is, guy. Now UFC Ultimate Team introduction. EA Sports UFC Ultimate Team, the mode that lets you build and customize a team of UFC fighters to compete online or offline in a variety of exciting challenges. Every fight earns you coins you can use to purchase Ultimate Team packs containing better fighters, better moves, and other ways to improve your team. Powerful new items are available all the time. Compete in Ultimate Championships single player championships or the all new solo challenges to rank up, earn coins and build your baddest UFC ultimate team. So here it is guys, extras and guys this is and this is the tutorial of UFC 3 and there are some extras in which we have seen the starting video, career mode video and the ultimate team video. Okay guys, so as I was telling you, I'm making career videos and they are really amazing. I'm not, I'm not, you know, bruising about myself, but I just wanted to tell you. So guys, go check them out. They are really awesome. And we already made many, 20, many, many parts. Those are 20 in number. Okay guys, so that's it. And subscribe for more. And I'm uh, uploading many career video videos in the next few hours. So go check them out and press the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Okay guys, see you soon in the next videos. Peace.